ya naitu wa Modesto C.M. Anderson ni mkazi wa Igombe eneo ambalo ni kando kando ya Ziwa Victoria ni baba wa watoto watano eneo hili la la Igombe ni eneo ambalo ni makazi ambayo watu wengi shughuli zao ni za uvuvi kwa mimi kama mzazi muda mwingi nimekuwa nikishughulika sana na shughuli zangu binafsi ambazo zimekuwa zikininyima nafasi ya kushughulika na watoto na swala la watoto imekuwa linatusumbua sisi wazazi kwa sababu mara nyingi tumekuwa tukisumbuka namna ya kuacha nyumbani hata mara nyingine tumelazimika kusafiri nao mpaka kwenye shughuli zetu za biashara za kivuvu kwa sababu hata tukiwaacha nyumbani ilikuwa hakuna watu ambao wanaweza kubaki nao na kuwahudumia lakini pia watoto hao hao wamekuwa waki kwa sababu ya kukosa uangalizi wamekuwa wakitumika kwa shughuli za kuokota dagaa kama sehemu ya ajira lakini pia wamekuwa wakisafisha mitumbwi ama kwa kujua sisi wazazi au kwa kuto kujua I am Mary Kabati uh, programs coordinator for Tahea Mwanza we have interventions in education uh, in Ilemela district focusing on fishing communities where we have ECD interventions as well as the microfinance intervention. Uh, when we started working in the fishing communities, uh, everybody knows how the fisher folk are. They always uh, have some happy hour just when they land at the landing sites. And uh, there is much happening from video shows, people drink a lot because they know tomorrow they will just go to the lake and they will get some money. Kwa watoto wetu wenye umri mdogo wanaanza kujifunza mambo machafu kabla ya wakati. Kwa hiyo sisi kama wazazi mfano mimi mwenyewe nimekuwa nikisumbuka na shida hii kwamba watoto wangu ninawezaje kuwa kuwaepusha na hizi changamoto katika mazingira haya kwa sababu kuna uharibifu mwingi jamii za kivuvi ni walevi pia kuna kila namna ya uchafu unaofanyika mchana kwa hiyo watoto wadogo wameanza kujifunza kunywa pombe tumia sigara wakiwa bado ni wadogo kwa hiyo sisi kama jamii kama wazazi tulianza kuhangaika namna gani tunaweza tukafanikiwa kuwalea hawa watoto wetu katika maadili mazuri tukakaa pamoja tukatengeneza mpango na mawazo wa, ku, wa kuanzisha kituo cha malezi. Tulipokuwa katika harakati hizo tunamshukuru Mungu kwamba tayari Strong Foundation nao wakawa wamekuja kufanya utafiti wao wakatukuta tuna hayo mawazo. We started with mobilizing the communities for children enrollment in school, retention, attendance and later as we were closer to the community during our meetings at ward level and community level they needed a safe place for the children when they uh, they are working where they should actually take their children for safety care and uh, early learning so what uh, came about was to mobilize the community to contribute towards establishing the ECD center. Tayari tukao tumechangia 
na Strong Foundation na kama tuchangia asilimia themanini, tukapata kituo. As always, parents are afraid leaving their children at a new place. After some time, when they saw what was happening at the ECD center, they became happy and actually also they were comfortable leaving their children at the ECD center. So later, that is where actually they saw uh, a safe place for children. And uh, we got a very high enrollment. Na miongoni mwa vitu ambavyo vimeni sukumba kila wakati kumpeleka mtoto wangu asubuhi kwenye kituo cha malezi ni jinsi ambavyo walimu ambao wanatumika kwenye hicho kituo jinsi ambavyo wanajitahidi kutumia mbinu mbalimbali mbali za kuwafundisha watoto wetu at the ECD center when you work with young children we actually promote play based uh, activities where the children themselves uh, do the most of the activities with the caregivers supporting them. We actually don't like the adults to dictate what the children should do. We want children to play while they are learning. <laughs> Mimi ndani designing yake ni nzuri. Kuna vifaa mbalimbali mbali ambavyo vinatumika kufundisha watoto. Hata mtoto ambaye hana uwezo kabisa Kwa hiyo hata mtoto wangu ninapomfuata muda wa kumrudisha nyumbani wakati mwingine inabidi kumbembeleza kumleta nyumbani ni kama anafurahia yale mazingira kuendelea kuwepo kwa sababu yale mazingira yaliyotengenezwa ni mazuri yanamfanya mtoto afurahie kukaa mazingira yale na kujifunza kwa wepesi Coming up, up with an ECD program is not easy. First of all, you have to mobilize for the construction of structures. And uh, after that, you have to sustain the services, the services which are given at the center. All these need money to operate the ECD center. We had to link with the uh, the microfinance uh, program so that you know care environments are at home at the ECD center and uh, in the community. So for that, we needed some funds to sustain the service provision to the young children. That is, for example, the caregivers who have to stay at the center to offer the service, the, the, to support the young children but also the feeding program at the center. For doing that, we had to link it for the, with the CMMF groups, where they contribute a certain amount towards the ECD center, and the caregivers who are paraprofessionals are paid monthly allowances, and also the children access the feeding program at the center. Naitwa Yohana Sukari Mashamba. Nina familia ya watu 15. Tisa ni wa kiume na sita ni wa kike. Ngini baada ya taya kuleta mradi shule ya awali, watoto wanafahamu kusoma wakiwa darasa la kwanza. Wametuletea vikundi na elimu kuhusiana na biashara. When we came and introduced the microfinance program which is 
is based within the community itself, many people were happy to join. And so at the, we mobilized the group, people to form groups and later we trained them on how to save and start saving and lending activities. Lakini pia kununua hisa kujiwekea akiba na kupata mkopo usiwa kuwa na mashariti makubwa. Lakini pia, pia hata riba na fuu. Uh, kuwepo kwenye kikundi kumeweza kusaidia elimu baada ya kuwa na mfuko wa elimu ambao tunatoa unakwenda shuleni kwa ajili ya watoto. Lakini pia kwenye, kwenye familia ne unapokuwa tunagawana ile faida inakwenda inafanya maendeleo kwenye familia. Baada ya kuingia kwenye, kwenye, kwenye kikundi tofauti na zamani nilikuwa nikiuza maziwa lita kumi lakini baada ya kuingia kwenye kikundi na kupata mtaji leo ninaweza kuuza maziwa mpaka lita moja. Nimejenga nyumba tatu, nyumba mbili za kuishi, nyumba moja kwa ajili ya biashara. Fishing communities are even building better shelters. After we have this microfinance synergy in education, we have seen children's performance improve. Also the participation of the community into the school development has improved. Watu ambao wako kwenye, kwenye vikundi vya hisa wanawasomesha watoto wao bila shida. Tunao wa, wa, walimu ambao wanatusaidia kufundisha wale watoto ambao wanajitolea, wanalipwa na jamii. Watu bado wanaendelea kujiunga kwenye vikundi. Tulikuwa, tulianza na vikundi viwili, tumeenda na vine, paka tumefika sita, paka tunasaba. Kituo hiki cha malezi kimekuwa baraka kwa familia yangu na kwa jamii yetu ya wakazi wa Igombe. Mtoto wangu tangu ameingia kwenye kituo cha malezi yako mabadiliko makubwa ambayo nimeyashuhudia yakitokea katika maisha yake. Mwanzoni nilipompelea kituoni hapo hakuwa na tabia njema. Alikuwa hajui kusalimia, hawezi ku, kuvaa viatu mwenyewe, hawezi kuvaa nguo peke yake. Alikuwa anapenda kulia lia tu ovyo. Alikuwa anaweza kuharibu vitu ndani. Lakini kadiri alivyoendelea kuhudhuria mafunzo kwenye kituo cha malezi, tabia hizo zimekuwa zikiondoka moja baada ya nyingine. Tulipoanza kupeleka watoto kwenye kituo cha malezi, watoto hawakuwa wengi sana. Lakini ghafla nimeshuhudia ongezeko la watoto wengi pale kituoni na wazazi wengi wamekuwa kitufuatilia sisi wazazi ambao tuna watoto pale kutaka mashauri na mna gani wanaona watoto wetu wanabadilika nao pia wamehamasika kupeleka watoto kwenye kituo cha ma, cha malezi kwa hiyo tunashukuru sana kwa kituo chetu kuendelea kutoa mafunzo mazuri kwa watoto wanafanya kazi nzuri ya kuwahudumia watoto wetu na watoto wetu wanafuraha kuwa katika kituo kile